Hi everyone, Rivanji here. Welcome back to another The Elder Scrolls Online video. Okay then, on to the next one. Every stone See what's next. So I managed to find three of the ambitions. Waves. As much as I wish to assist you, I need to think of Gideon and its safety. My spy master tells me that Councillor Von Dacia still has eyes in the city. That even now we fear he is aware that we harbor the ambitions, that he gathers his cultists to assault Gideon. The presence really? of the ambitions puts my people at risk. So I want to the move them? Safe, but we need to find a better place to hide them. Talk to the ambitions. Perhaps the third one you rescued. Sombrin, was it? Evely said he wasn't locked in a vault when the cult found him. Maybe he knows more than the twins. I would never turn away any weapons of destruction. We will protect the ambitions for as long as we can. Yet I fear my legionnaires will not be able to hold off Vandacia's forces should they attack. Go to the temple of Debella when you're ready to talk to them. My spy master reports a flurry of activity that is troublesome, and Gideon is not the fortress it once was. Even so, my Blackfin Legion will give as good as it gets, better even. What most concerns me is the possibility of treachery. Vandacia's family is powerful and has deep roots in Blackwood. His spies and political allies fill Gideon like wine fills a goblet. And not all of them are cultists, at least not openly. I fear the enemy we cannot see more than the one we can. Okay, meet with the ambitions. Weapons of destruction. Unleash your power, just like back in the Sanctum. All right, if you say so. No, wait! Something's wrong. Pull back, Kalia. Pull back! I can't! Hold on. Let me help. There. How did you do that? Practice. I trained to control my powers <laughs> after I... <laughs> level 14. When I was freed from my vault, it took months for my own power to reach such levels, and then it nearly destroyed me. I'm surprised Callie has gotten to that point so quickly after her release. Our powers grow exponentially once we leave the protection of the vaults. It's what they were constructed for. But Callie's power has advanced much faster than mine did. It almost consumed her. If not for my mentor, the same would have befallen me. When Duke Varen's forces came through, they set me free. To them, I was just another political prisoner. I wandered without a purpose for a time until my power reached a level similar to what you saw here. That's when my mentor found me. I don't see why not. Plus, it will probably be safer if the three of us leave for a while. There's an old shrine northwest of here. Let's meet there. I suggest you tell your Wood Elf companion where we're going. She seems like the sort to worry. Find us in the marsh to the northwest. I'll take Callie and Destron and meet you at the shrine. Don't worry, I'll protect them. The cultists won't surprise me again. Just let your wood elf friend know that we have the twins and we'll keep them safe. Why do you think Emperor Leovic had those vaults constructed? They contain and limit our power. Without them, the power would grow and expand until it destroyed us. The vaults were supposed to keep us alive long enough to learn to control our power. Right. About that. Obviously, what I thought I knew and the truth aren't exactly the same. Regardless, without the protection of the vault, Kalia's and Destron's powers will eventually kill them. She was able to train me. She also had a method for suppressing my power until I could contain it on my own. Without her, I wouldn't be here today. She can help Destron and Kalia. I'm sure of it. The governor is wise. A moving target is harder to hit than a stationary one. And if we're no longer inside the city, 
Vondasius cultists have no reason to attack it. I wasn't paying attention. My mentor warned me that I was going to be hunted, but I didn't listen. I returned to my old vault to see if I could learn more about who and what I am. The cultist ambushed me, knocked me out before I could respond. I was raised in a vault, just like the twins. Isolated, ignorant of the world outside. All I knew was that I was different, special somehow. Duke Varen's forces set me free when I was 16. My mentor found me some months later. I fell in with mercenaries, wandering and learning to fight even as my power grew. I was beginning to lose control when my mentor appeared. She was a shaman of sorts. She taught me how to master my power, but she never referred to me as an ambition. She said she had been looking for me. She knew of Mehrun's Dagon's interest in a hidden secret and had been searching for it. But it wasn't until my power began to manifest outside the vault that she was able to locate me. She saved my life. That was terrifying. I've never felt anything like that, ever. Nothing like that ever occurred during our training in the Sanctum. What's happening to me? My gift is fire. Summoning flames is as natural as breathing. In the vault, it was always just a spark or a simple flicker. But when I tried to hit the target, I couldn't control it. The fire inside me, it wanted to grow, to spread, to feed. I'm fine. A, a bit lightheaded, maybe. Whatever Sombrin did, it put the fire out. At least for now. I don't like this. What if next time I summon the power, no one can help me extinguish it? I could hurt Destron. I could burn Gideon to the ground. Yeah, don't worry about it. Our power seems to be getting stronger. Harder to control. If not for Sombrin, Kalia's own power might have consumed her. Is this our punishment for abandoning our sanctum? No, probably not. But we're definitely getting stronger. You saw what I did in the sanctum. My power is lightning, but after seeing how Kalia lost control, I'm hesitant to use it out here. I will, though, if I'm called upon to defend my sister. Told me to take a thinking break. It helps to take a break sometimes, you know. <laughs> that was nice. From thinking, she shouted exactly when we were about to leave. Anyway, how are the I thought it was someone else. Have you figured out a better place to hide them? Well, that sounds bad, obviously. What happened? Oh, I knew there was a reason we plucked him out of Vandasius Fortress in the Deadlands. I mean, other than preventing a human sacrifice. So who is this helpful person? Stick close to them. You need to keep the ambition safe and out of Andasius' clutches. While you're away, I'm going to continue helping Keshu's Blackfin Legion. And I want to be around when my cousins from Balinwood finally arrive. Good luck! Now this actually goes by. going on here <laughs> well Easy an open mind my man interesting i didn't expect to hear from sombrin again after he left despite my advice but to find him in the presence of a powerful mortal and two other ambitions but where are my manners greetings mortal i am zyna and so i did i sensed his need and offered my assistance 
He learned well, and as he will tell you, I never betrayed him. Is that why he has summoned me? Because those other two ambitions now face the same danger that almost consumed him? Well, yeah. Then you must bring them to my sanctuary. They are far more than anything you can imagine. I helped Sombrin because I didn't want to see him fall into Mehrun's Dagon's hands, or destroy himself with his own power. I will do the same for the others. I hide in the Deadlands. Yes, Dagon's realm. But I have ways to protect us. Before you bring them, they must be attuned to this realm. Find slivers of the Deadlands lodged in your world. Sombrin will show you how to use them to attune the ambitions. As I said, Zyna helped me. And she can help Kalia and Destron. You just have to trust her. And if you can't trust her, trust me. Forgive me, but in my experience, most of Nern takes a dark view of Dramora. Zyna found me when I was at my worst. If she wanted me dead, she could have killed me years ago or just let me destroy myself. Instead, she helped me, taught me control. Oh, of that I'm certain. Competition in the Deadlands is fierce, especially among the non-aligned Dramora. I know that she seeks allies to call upon when the need arises. Having three ambitions who owe you a favor? Oh, that's like gold to Zyna. Let me mark your map. Zyna told me where to find these slivers of the Deadlands when I needed them. Dagon cultists often enshrine these shards whenever they find them. You'd be surprised how often chunks of oblivion make their way to Nern. I'll describe the process when you return. I need to prepare a portal at a place where the planar boundaries are thin. Take Kalia and Destron and gather the slivers. Then I can attune them to the Deadlands. I also marked where to meet me on your map. Our powers interact strangely with the natural forces of the Deadlands. That's why we need to be attuned. Of course, I underwent the process years ago. Now we must help the twins do the same. Keep them safe, then meet me on the road south of Gideon. No, you're not an ambition. Besides, you've been to the Deadlands already and suffered no ill effects. Yeah, true. If the twins attempted that before we attuned them, the plane would rip them apart. Our power is connected to Mehrun's Dagon in some way. I'm not entirely sure. I just know that there's some element of Mehrun's Dagon inside us, and it wants to return whence it came. I think that's what Von Dacia hoped to accomplish by killing me. Anyway, I'd rather not see that happen to any of us. Let's find these objects from the Deadlands as Sombrin's mentor suggested. If it helps keep me and my sister alive, we've got to try it, no matter the risk. No, but I never heard of ambitions either before all this began. We're in new territory here. But as long as my sister and I are in danger, I'll take help wherever I can get it. Let's go and find these objects. I suppose we must trust in Sombrin's experience. He knows quite a lot more about our powers than we do. Does it matter? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we have a choice. When I lost control back at the temple, I couldn't stop it. If Sombrin hadn't suppressed my flames, I would have ignited the city. Unless you know another way to fix me, I don't think we have a choice. Okay, so we need some Deadlands slivers. We're going to be great heroes. What's heroic about being consumed by our own powers? Zyna taught some. Oh, it's a player. Powers. What if Zyna only wants to? If the cultists are our own power, okay. kill she us. Can't Not bad. You heard. Come here, sister. Where's your sister? That's a nice uh, I've read the skin. stories. Packs with Daedra never turn out well. I'll protect you, Kalia. You have my word. Silly little brother. I'm the one who protects you. You're barely older, only by a moment. Two slivers of the deadlands, one for each of us. Mission accomplished. I fear it just gets more difficult for eh. you. Let's go, Dad. I guess we don't have to fast travel. Let's go meet Sombra. Oh, 
Oh, what are those? Fuck, I don't want to activate this now. Who knows what's going to happen? That's the public dungeon. The silent holes. And said, I haven't found a single world boss. Like, not a single one. an adventure Destron be serious our own powers could destroy us that won't happen I won't let it it might not be up to you Kalia we'll figure this out you found the Deadland slivers good I set up the portal at the top of the hill behind me Alatoon, Kalia and Destron then we can make our way to the summit I need you to deal with a complication for me Creatures were drawn to the hillside by my actions. Could you make sure the path to the top is clear? The last thing we need is for some mundane and random threat to provoke a response from Kalia or Destron. And we should kill all of the enemies? In the way, what? I don't think we need to do that. There's some regular enemies. Just like we discussed, focus on the slivers of Deadlands. It's working! I've never traveled by the. <laughs> How do you know? Oh, there we go. Quick, step inside. Follow when you're ready, friend. Well, I guess back to the Deadlands. I shall do all that I can to aid the twins. But first, they must survive the Ashen Forest. They must walk the path of the obelisks. Before I can teach them to contain their power, they must first come to understand it. The path of the obelisks will help them do so. They must visit the three ancient oracles and learn the truths that each will reveal. Protect the twins from the dangers of the forest. They cannot unleash their power safely until they have learned to control it. At each obelisk, you will bear witness to the truths they learn. Come to me when all is said and done. Then we shall see. The power of these two ambitions grows with every passing moment. You must hurry. The path begins to the northwest. Look for the obelisks of origin, empowerment, and inevitability. Each will reveal a hidden truth. 
The Dramora of my clan have dwelt in the Deadlands for ages uncounted. This is the seat of my power, just as it is Mehrun's Dagon's. My purposes, however, are my own. Allegiances among Daedra are not as simple as they are in the mortal world. Let us just say that I do not wish to see Mehrun's Dagon succeed in this endeavor. The ambitions must not fall into his hands. I cannot say for certain. Their truths are their own, not mine. Yet I know that they must walk this path. A mortal cannot become what they are meant to be without first understanding what they are. Much remains hidden from these two ambitions. Yeah, right. Alright, let's go. Watch out. Yeah, just run. We have to kill them. Stop falling. No, oh, it's Destron. He was a baby. Oh, and Kalia. Your Majesty, welcome. The babes are healthy and strong. As commanded, my Emperor. She bore twins. As Merun's Dagon commanded, so it has been done. Our parents and the High Priest. I don't know. Sure, that one is alive. and destruction imbue these infants with your power let it ripen and grow within these vessels until the appointed time as so Dagon will let it be done Crazy, eh? Let's kill this one. It's coming in the way. Guy. Is that us up there? And Mayrun's Dagon? Is this our future, Kalia? Is this inevitable? Heh, <laughs> it's following us. How long ago was it when I crushed you and claimed the ambitions for myself? It must be rather depressing. Man, look at this guy's armor. Efforts were in vain. That my victory is inevitable. Visions. You must understand the forces with which you meddle. Given your failures before you died, that doesn't surprise me. You entered the portal at the obelisk of inevitability in the Deadlands. What could be more inevitable than the future? 
Look around and see for yourself. The very fact that you stand before me proves that you didn't stop me. You didn't save the ambitions. You didn't save anyone. I destroyed you. Now this realm belongs to my lord and master Mayrun's Dagon. Who's that? Right behind you? You said the same thing when we battled in Blackwood so many years ago. I found your foolish bravado amusing then. I find it even more amusing now. What is this guy talking about? Like years ago? When? The contest. You died well if that consoles. Mercenary, time to go. Through the portal, quickly. Landesia, he had us displayed like trophies. We saw our future. We're doomed. Snap out of it. What you saw was just one possible inevitability. Nothing is set in stone. I didn't think that was how my story was going to end. I really thought we were going to win. I mean, we are going to win. What are you talking about? We're going to kill that guy. We're going to go back and fuck him up. Let alone his high priest. Maybe it's better if we just let our powers consume us. At least then Vandacia won't be able to claim us. Now you sound like Kalia and Sombrin. You're right, though. We have power beyond anything Vandacia possesses. That's why he wants us. Once Zyna teaches us to control it, we'll be unstoppable. All right. We're with you. Let's go get this done. Vandacia is going to win. We saw ourselves. He was drawing power from us, like sipping wine from a chalice. But you saw how Vandacia looked strong. Powerful and Mayrun's Dagon looking down on us. How do we stand against that? I don't. Can it really be that simple? Was that the point of these visions? To show us how we were created and to reveal a dark and possible future? All right, I understand. Just because the night is long doesn't mean the sun won't rise tomorrow. Yo, stay there. The obelisk of inevitability reveals just one possible future. True, it's the most likely outcome, but it isn't the only one. Now that we know where things are heading, we can work to change the course. We're dealing with forces beyond our understanding. It was always going to be a difficult journey. But the obelisk of inevitability only shows what will happen if events continue on their current course. That future hasn't happened. Yet. The perils of visiting oracles. Are we better off knowing what is to come, or continuing on in blissful ignorance? I believe our choices matter. I choose to resist Mayrun's Dagon, and no vision will sway me from that path. I hope you feel the same. Are we under attack? Mortal who bore witness for the twin ambitions, let us speak. We can finally greet each other in person, mortal. Before we begin the process that will permit the twins to control their powers, I must ask you a single question. Why does one who abhors Mayrun's Dagon care what happens to his ambitions? A noble sentiment, but they are more than just people. They are powerful weapons. Dagon's priest imbued them with a portion of the Lord of Destruction's own energy when they were born. It has grown and intensified in the intervening years. Imagine that each ambition is like a mortal bank. Instead of gold, the priest deposited a portion of Dagon's energy inside them. 
That energy grew with them, compounding and doubling year after year like interest on your savings. It also transformed. Okay. In every way, what was once just of oblivion became mixed with nerve. Now that energy is a part of both realms. And that is why Mayrun's Dagon wants it back. It will give him the connection to Nern that he so greatly desires. A path to your world. Their power is like a volcano, building until released as an explosion or a lava flow. One is catastrophic, the other merely destructive. I will delay the eruptions while teaching them to dissipate and maintain control. You may observe, of course. We must begin the ritual at once. This way. Stay close, friend. I'll feel better knowing you're nearby. What's happening? What's going on? Saiga, what are you doing? Helping you fulfill your purpose. Your ambitions. You belong to Mayrun's Dagon. Hey, guess what? Another traitor. <laughs> what happened? Is everyone fucked in this no. DLC? Damn it! You betrayed us! What the ambition said. Damn her! Zaina betrayed us and cast us into the spider nest! Well, I guess we gotta the kill her as well. Her sanctuary. She sent her enemies here to die. We, we aren't her enemies. She saved my life many times. If she'd wanted to hurt me, she could have done so long ago. Why turn against me now? I don't want to believe that. But I heard what she said too. And she completely drained my energy. I can't call upon my power until it recharges. We need to find a way out of here. We need to get to Kalia and Destron before Zyna turns them over. First things first. I need to restore my power. Let me think. Zyna told me about an old foe she destroyed. Tossed them into this place and kept their skull as a trophy. It may hold enough energy to recharge my power immediately. The skull is in the treasure chamber. You can get there through the east door, retrieve it, and meet me at the door in the north. When you find me, I'll be in a meditative state. Present the skull, and I'll do the rest. Menthix, an ancient rival. Challenging him was one of the last tasks Sina assigned to me as she trained me to control my power. Together, we vanquished Menthix and left his bones in the spider nest. Zyna did something to Menthix to chain his essence here forever. She kept him from coming back by trapping his power here, below her temple. That's also why the skull contains energy. Energy I can use to recharge my own power. She probably didn't want to have to deal with three ambitions and you at the same time. She needs our powers at their full strength for whatever she has planned. She reversed what I did. I could feel it. Kalia and Destron's powers have been unleashed. Eventually. But probably not before she completes whatever she has in mind. Hurry. We need that skull. With it, I can recharge my power and help the twins. Then, when they aren't in imminent danger of exploding, we can figure out the rest. The skull contains the trapped essence of a powerful Daedric Lord. If Zyna had simply killed her rival, he would have returned like Daedra do. So instead, she trapped a portion of his energy to keep him from coming back. You heard Zyna. My powers of both Oblivion and Nern. I can use a spark from the trapped essence of a Daedric Lord to recharge my power. That means Zyna's old enemy will be free to return someday. Not that I care about that anymore. Right, let's go this way then. Spiders. I oh, thought I should have another bread somewhere. Uh, 
What is that? Oh, there it is. How do we get our companion? Is it if we fully finish this stuff or is it from a side quest? Because we haven't gotten our companion yet. I can feel the residual energy. Pull the skull toward me, please. Oh, she is. She's doing something to the twins. Too late. Lord Dagon will reward me for securing the twins. You deal with Zyna. Oh, oh, oh. The ambition. <laughs> she has statues of the enemies. Is for him alone. That easy. She was going to sacrifice us to Mayroon's Dagon. Sombrin, how could you bring us to this this monster? She wasn't like this. I, I didn't know. Destron, help me open a portal. Like Sombrin showed us on the hilltop. wasn't how it was supposed to turn out. Yeah, she betrayed us. Zaina, she never gave me any indication that she was going to betray us. That she was involved in our creation and wanted to sacrifice us to Mayroon's Dagon. At least the twins don't appear to be in imminent danger of exploding. Let me take another look at Zyna's contracts. Yes, it's here. Zyna used a holy book to show Von Dacia how to create the four ambitions. Could it have been the Mysterium Xarxis? 
She was always loyal to Dagon. She never wanted to help us at all. Hopefully, they're either still locked in a vault or wandering free like I was. I hate to think that Vondasia captured them while we were busy elsewhere. I'm... I'm not sure what we should do next, my friend. It's beginning to seem hopeless. I hope you're right, but I can't see a way ahead from here. If all else fails, we'll destroy ourselves before we let Dagon win. We're the keys to unlock the barriers between here and the Deadlands. We can't allow ourselves to fall into his hands. Kali and Destron. They have no reason to trust me. Not anymore. But I'll still protect them. And somehow, I'll find a way to earn their trust again. Whatever Zyna did to prepare them to be sacrificed, it seems to have dampened their power. How long that will last, I have no idea. But until their power builds to uncontrollable levels again, they should be able to use it to help us. I'll try to train the twins as Zyna trained me. If all else fails, I can take them back to the Deadlands. The realm seems to naturally siphon off our energy and keep it at manageable levels. Not my first choice, but it will serve as a last resort. They met at each other. Mercenary. While you were gone, word reached us that the Waking Flame is gathering an army. I fear it will soon march on Gideon. But Evely said you took the ambitions to learn about their powers. Did you succeed? We are all in danger. At least you kept a lying stuff. Okay. I thank you for that. Who's this? Concerning the cult, Evely and I have made plans. But first. I want you to have this. Compensation for the work you have done up to this point on Blackwood's behalf. Thank you. The Order of the Waking Flame has cast a net around Gideon. Vondasia is gathering an army, including guards from the garrison who were loyal to him all along. He knows the ambitions were here, and that they have now returned. No, the city is no place for a battle. When foes surround you, it is wise to put your back spines to a tree. We will move the ambitions to Fort Redmayne. The Imperials abandoned it years ago, but my Blackfin Legion has been restoring its defenses. No, I have another task for you. Summon what allies you can to Fort Redmayne to help defend the ambitions. I sent my Legion ahead, but I fear we will need more warriors. Before you go, tell the ambitions what we are doing and why. They trust you. Tell the ambitions we will defend them with our lives. Just not here, where so many civilians could be endangered. Let us use Fort Redmayne as the tree against our backs. Evely will see the ambitions safely to the fort. Talk to her before you go. I leave the specifics up to you. Consider who you have helped throughout Blackwood. Evely might have some ideas. Remember, this is not a mission for just any courier or messenger. The cult has made the roads of Blackwood especially dangerous. They are my brothers and sisters in arms, the finest Argonian warriors to ever emerge from Black Marsh. It started as a mercenary band and was tempered in the Akaviri and Alliance Wars. Now they protect Gideon, and they will protect the ambitions. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess that was another main mission called Weapons of Destruction. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.